a very good afternoon to everybody watching this video uh, so today our topic of interest would be uh, solid state chemistry uh, in this video I am not going to talk in detail about each of the topics but I am just going to give you all the formulas that will be necessary for different examinations so the first uh, without wasting further time the first topic will be seven crystal systems and the uh, Bravais lattices so here we, usually this table is very difficult to memorize so I'm giving you a short tech, uh, shortcut to just memorize this uh, this table that is first we need to remember this cubic tetragonal orthoromic monoclinic triclinic hexagonal and rhomboidal that is the crystal system in this order uh, with this sentence we can do that Chris told our mommy to hit Ricky so Chris the C stands for cubic told the tetragonal and so on now once you memorize this part it is easy to memorize this relationship between the edge length that is the first one and the last one will be having a equal to b equal to c see we can look at here notice this here then the second and the second last one will be having a equal to b not equal to c and the all remaining ones uh, the a not equal to b not equal to c so it is now easy to memorize then the next part will be the uh, angle to be memorized once you memorize these two uh, the first three angles all will be equal to 90 degree then the fourth one um, only uh, the first uh, and alpha and gamma will be 90 degree but beta will not be equal to 90 degree the next one none of them will be 90 degree then again two of them will become 90 degree Finally, none of them will be, all will be equal, but none of them will be 90 degree. So, this is the 7 crystal system, Bravais lattices and also the shortcut to remember this. Now, the next topic will be um, the unit cells and the top in, to, uh, total number of atoms per unit cell. In case of simple cubic uh, unit cell, it will be 1, that is uh, 1 by 8. One particle will be occupying 1 by 8 position and we are having 8 corners. So, 1 by 8 into 8, 1. Then BCC, it will be 2. That is, one body center will be the one particle occupying the body center and 1 by 8 into 8 will be the uh, contributions in the corner. Next, FCC, that is a face centered cubic. Uh, 1 by 2 will be the contribution to each faces and then uh, there are 6 faces. Therefore, 1 by 2 into 6, which is 3 plus the corner, the contributions in the corner, which adds up to a sum of 4. Now, continuing with the next important set of equations. First of all, we need to know that packing fraction uh, is equal to volume occupied the particles per unit cell, which is equal to 4 by 3 pi r cube, where r is the radius of the particle, divided by volume of unit cell, which is equal to a cube, where a is the edge length. Now, this relation gives the relationship between the radius of the particle and the edge length of the unit cell. For the simple or, or primitive unit cell, R equal to A by 2. Face centered, it will be A by 2 root 2. Body centered, A root 3 by 4. And hexagonal close pack, R equal to A by 2. Then, you must not have heard much about this diamond cube uh, unit cell. But it is actually occupied by um, uh, carbon, silicon, germanium, etc. So, it will be A root 3 by 8. Now, the packing fraction. Using this formula and this relationship between radius and A by 2. And substituting it in 4 by 3 pi r cube and A cube. We will be getting packing fraction as 0.52. Uh, sorry, uh, I wrote a little... Um, it is not uh, up to the in the same line, you can, but still you can understand. For simple, it is 0.52, FCC it is 0.74, BCC it is 0.68, um, then HCP it is 0.74 and diamond cube it will be 0.34. So, the le now packing efficiency will be this packing fraction into 100. So, the least uh, packing efficiency will be for diamond cube which is only 34 percentage and the highest packing efficiency will be for uh, face centered and uh, uh, hexagonal close pack with 74 percentage. Um, now, the next set of equations will be the density of cube crystal, cubic crystal system. This is the most important topic as far as uh, 
solid state chemistry is concerned because every year one question usually one question usually comes from this part so if you are considering the density as rho it will be equal to z into m divided by a cube into na where z is the number of atoms per unit cell na is the avogadro's number 6.02 into 10 raised to 23 m will be gram atomic weight of element a will be edge length now edge length will be usually given in armstrong or um, uh, even nanometer according to the question we need to convert the units now this will be very important that's why i marked it star here you should learn this for sure then next will be the Bragg's equation which is 2d sin theta is equal to n lambda here n will be the order of the spectrum for first order spectrum n will be equal to 1 uh, we all know what was the Bragg's experiment we need not go into details we just need to study this um, equation now d will be equal to uh, d is the actually the interplanar distance lambda will be the wavelength and theta will be the angle of incidence so this is Bragg's equation now for JE student I don't think Miller indices is very uh, necessary but just for your reference we can just learn what Miller indices is. Miller indices are represented by HKL and if uh, given a plane and it cuts the X, Y and Z axis by A, B and C then the Miller indices will be 1 by A which is equal to H, 1 by V which is equal to K and 1 by C which will be equal to L. Now in case H, uh, K, L and A is also given then how to find the interplanar distance. This equation will give the interplanar distance which is D equal to A which is the unit, uh, uni, uh, unit cell side length div, uh, divided by root of H square plus K square plus L square. We know H equal to 1 by A k equal to 1 by b l equal to 1 by c where uh, a b c are the uh, are how the plane cut the axis okay that is uh, these are the important uh, equations in which this density of cubic crystal system is the primary is, is of prime importance and here comes our next important topic which is the ratio radius ratio uh, voids uh, then coordination number and number of volts per unit cell. Now if the radius ratios that is the uh, ratio of radius of cation to anion if it is in the range 0 0.155 to 0.225 the void will be try the void found in this will be triangular void and the coordination number and number of volts per unit cell will be 3. Uh, for uh, triangular and cubic there is no much things to understand we just need to learn the radius ratio and the coordination number is obvious almost obvious now here in case of tetrahedral and octahedral words we are giving the coordination number as 4 and 6 but the number of tetrahedral words should be 2 and uh, and octahedral volts will be n where n is the number of atoms per unit cell now uh, usually question comes in this way that uh, a particle occupy uh, 8 of the octa oh, 1 by 8 of the octahedral volts or tetrahedral volts so from that we need to find the formula of the crystal system so in the in those cases we have to use this 2n and n only then we can uh, come to the um, formula of the particular crystal system okay so this is another important topic um, next times the type of crystal structures in that first one will be a b type crystal structure in which uh, the first one will be nacl structure or rock salt structure the radius ratio will be in the range 0 0.414 to 0.732 where it can be equal to 0.414 another uh, example should be uh, na sorry here i repeated nacl it is nicl abcl etc uh, abcl etc the next one will be cesium chloride type where 0 0.732 less than or equal to the radius uh, r plus r minus less than or equal to 1 that is just in this range and other examples will be cesium bromide cesium iodide etc then we come z and s so these are just important to understand whether one when something is given and we have to find which type of crystal it is nacl csl or z and z and s type next comes the ab2 type that is the fluoride structure caf2 type where Ca2 plus occupy the cubic close pack structure, F minus fluoride ion occupies the tetrahedral voids and the coordination number of Ca2 plus will be 8 and that of F minus will be 4. Another examples will be barium fluoride and also barium chloride. 
and then the exact opposite of this will, this is the a to b type that is anti fluoride type example is na2o where uh, now the anion is occupying this cubic class close pack and the cation is occupying the voids and the coordination number is also reversed Uh, this will be the last set of data we will be need to do problems in solid state chemistry. That is next the structure, continuing with the structure, spinal structure. Fibre spinal structure will be usually in the form of, in this formula. That is A, B2, O4 type, where A will be divalent, B will be trivalent and O is in O2 minus form. O2 minus uh, or the anion will be in the phase centered cubic form. Then A2 plus or the divalent cation will be occupying 1 by 8 of tetrahedral voids. Now we are having total 8 tetrahedral voids. So 1 by 8 into 8 gives 1. So the, we, therefore we are having only a single uh, divalent cation that is A1 A2 plus. From the formula also it is uh, understood. Then B3 plus will be occupying 1 by 2 of octahedral words. We are having 4 octahedral words. Therefore, 1 by 2 into 4 which is equal to 2 B plus 3. The same is indicated in the formula as well. Now, another examples for this will be MgAl2O4 and Zn2O4. Then comes the inverse spinal structure that is Fe3O4. Here Fe is present as Fe2 plus, Fe3 plus and O is, as, o is present as O2 minus. Now the anion will be occupying the cubic close pack structure. Fe2 plus will be occupying 1 by 4 of the octahedral voids. That is as we already know 4 octahedral voids. Therefore 1 by 4 will give 1 Fe2 plus. Fe3 plus occupies both some fraction of tetrahedral and some fraction of octahedral voids as well. So by the calculation we will be having uh, 1 Fe3 plus in the tetrahedral void and um, 1 in the octahedral world. So, the ratio between these species will be Fe2 plus is to Fe3 plus is to O2 minus gives 1 is to 2 is to 4. So, this is all about the type of crystals, crystal structures. Now, defects. Defects, a lot of defects are present and you should know that if there is uh, any vacant site, the density will be decreasing and there is no vacant site, then there will not be any change in the density. Main, uh, main Two defects which are usually asked in exams are short, short key defects and as well as frontal defects. Now short key defect the density will be decreasing and the number of defects can be written as n exponential w by 2 kt. This is not very necessary for JE students but for preparing jam we can use this one. So n will be the number of sites which are vacant. W will be the work done to create those vacant sites. K will be the Boltzmann constant and T will be the temperature. Then comes the Prangle defect. Here we know that uh, though uh, number of so many sites are vacant, equal number of sites are occupied as well. So there will be no density change and the number of defects will be root of n n dash e raised to minus w by 2 kt where n will be the number of vacant sites. n dash will be the number of alternate sites uh, occupied. w k and t will be the same as what is mentioned in short key defect which will be work. Boltzmann constant and temperature. So that's all about uh, the equations, ma major equations which we need for any exams as far as solid state chemistry is concerned. Now if you need any other formulas, you can comment below in the uh, comment section and also I can provide you detailed notes if you want. You can also mention that in the comment section. Now in the next video, I'll be following up with this kind of uh, formulas in case of kinetics and thermodynamics. And also before that, I'll be doing so many questions which are asked in JAM and uh, JE exam for from this part, solid state chemistry. So see you in the next video. Uh, thank you so much.